my name is Ming Nguyen, uh, and I edit OpenStreetMap uh, as, as, uh, under my name. So this talk is about OSM Counts, a project that I've uh, begun and uh, kind of began in a crunch before this talk uh, for, for gathering statistics, statistics about OpenStreetMap. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run through a, number, a bunch of numbers. I'm not a statistician. I'm going to talk about databases, but I'm, I know nothing about databases. What I am is a mapper. And uh, I like mapping. I take pride in it. And it grates me. Uh, it grates my nerves when I hear you know, like people kind of assuming that OSM is not uh, up, uh, you know, is, is not, uh, up, up to uh, like kind of the, the standards that people expect for maps, because you know, we have no idea how complete map, um, you know, OSM is. Uh, we don't have these statistics that are like, authoritative. And so therefore, people assume it must be incomplete. It must be inferior to other proprietary data sets. Uh, when, when in fact, the story is a lot more nuanced than that. So last year, I stood up on a stage like this and talked about, um, well, I mentioned the fact that uh, I was concerned about this problem, and uh, I picked up a phone, a phone book. I don't know if anyone remembers those. Um, and I started counting all the entries. Uh, so at first, I counted all the, the uh, pages in the white pages. Then I went to the yellow pages, and I came up with like, this wonderful table of statistics. Uh, you know, we're doing well in certain categories, not doing so well in other categories. Uh, but then this thing happened to me um, uh, a couple of weeks ago where uh, a, f a new phone book landed on my doorstep. And I was like, I'm not going to count all that again. Uh, and, and beyond that, I mean, this is only going to be applicable to my area code. You know, you kind of want more than that, right? The big picture is how does your community stack up against all the other communities in, in North America, say? So uh, our good friends at the Census Bureau don't just provide us with Tiger. They also have um, something called the economic census. And the way this works, it's not quite as rigorous as the decennial census uh, of people. But uh, they, they send out mailers to businesses uh, across the country in all kinds of categories of manufacturing, retail, and so forth. Uh, and you know, the deadline uh, passed recently. But you know, hopefully, we'll, we'll get the answers for, for 2018 in uh, several years. Um, so I'm, I'm working off of the 2012 census. Uh, the first step was mapping the NAICS codes. Uh, this is like a, a standard for um, industries across um, uh, US, Canada, and Mexico uh, to OSM tags. So that's on the wiki now. It's under NAICS. And um, basically did some uh, database magic that I don't quite understand and came up with, uh, with a, like a top 10 and a bottom 10 states for various categories like supermarkets. So, I'm sad to say that uh, my own like, uh, state of interest, Ohio, is doing really poorly in supermarkets right now. It's on the bottom of the list, uh, or towards the bottom. But, uh, but any Utahns here take pride in that. You, you know how to shop. Um, on the other hand, insurance agents, I mean, like this, you know, the story looks very different for across different categories. Um, and that's really what you, know, you tend to see. So um, getting a big picture of all that is going to be really interesting. Uh, I did take a, a stab at compiling kind of a prototype of what you know, a profile of a state would look like uh, and you know, across all categories. This is for Ohio, just to give you an idea of what things would look like. Um, you, know, you have the percentages down the middle for the economic census across all these categories, but then you can keep on going, you know, like different data sets from the government. There's uh, center lane miles and line, mi uh, lane miles coming from the, you know, the Department of Transportation. Uh, there's a bridge inventory, uh, the ag census, and so forth. And then there's all these other things that like, I have no idea how to get you know, authoritative statistics about these things. Uh, if anyone knows uh, about a good data set for speed bumps in America, or tornado sirens, or water towers, let me know. Um, so about the tech for this, the biggest decision I had to make was um, I decided to use PostGIS for all the, uh, all the querying I was doing and not um, a tool like Osmium. Uh, that had some trade-offs associated with it. Osmium is really, really good, good at coming up with fast counts of things. Uh, but I really want, in the future, to be able to do things with spatial queries. Um, and I'll get to that in a moment. So I went with PostGIS. And uh, fortunately, I have an account on uh, the Wikimedia Toolforge site, which is a kind of community server uh, on, on Wikimedia's uh, cloud infrastructure that uh, Wikipedia also uses to render their own tile server. Um, so it just happens that they have a PostGIS instance uh, lying around with like the planet being updated all the time. So um, that's actually open to OpenStreetMap contributors. Uh, and it's a really good resource. So with the next steps for this project, um, I, as I mentioned, uh, I, I want to build out more of that profile for not just, not just Ohio, but for every state. Um, so center lane miles, pathways, 
Um, I also want to do spatial queries. So for example, there's a NAICS code for convenience stores attached to groceries, uh, sorry, attached to gas stations as opposed to just standalone gas stations. I want to be able to distinguish those things. Um, I'm going to kind of break it down further to metropolitan areas, to counties, so you can really start to like, get a good sense of where you stand. Uh, and I want to extend this to Canada and Mexico. Um, don't leave, don't only leave them out. Um, the most important thing is probably to, to run this regularly so that you can track your progress as you go as a community. Um, because I really think that having these concrete numbers uh, and, and kind of a goal to shoot towards, are going, it, it's going to encourage communities to have these friendly competitions with each other. And, and we're going to kind of push each other uh, you know, forward towards that goal. So uh, I, this is not a whole lot to look at right now. Um, I do have something on GitHub, and uh, I'll, I'll you know, be sure to kind of build it out further as time goes on after this conference uh, in terms of documentation. Uh, but that first link is, the, is a repo where um, what I have so far lives. Um, the second link is uh, that prototype I mentioned for Ohio um, that could easily be built for any, any state. Um, and uh, there's my contact information. I'd be happy to talk to anyone after the conference. Thank you.